is going on folks? Today we're talking about the bench press, its common faults, and how you can fix it. Let's get down to it. So just like any other big lift, like the squat, the deadlift, the overhead press, or the row, the bench press comes with a series of potential injuries when done incorrectly. Now while the bench press is a chest, shoulder, and arm exercise primarily, there's a lot more that needs to be recruited during the movement. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to do this. But some of the most common injuries are either an AC joint injury, which is the joint acromion clavicular right here, an inflamed bursa under the AC joint, uh, bicep tendon tendonitis, or just general tendonitis around the rotator cuff and in the shoulder in general. All very unpleasant experiences. I've had some myself in the past. Uh, sometimes it's just a fluke. Sometimes it's because you're simply bench pressing incorrectly. So let's go fix it. So bird's eye view under the bar here from the top. Let's get into it. So of course we unrack the bar. Now a real common mistake here is what I call a T-shape is that there is no scapular scooping or stability or lat recruitment and that often leads to these elbows coming way out to the side kind of like a T-shape, right? No good. Lots of anterior deltoid AC joint compression there. It's not really your pecs doing a whole lot of work, with, which is what they should be doing, right? It's a really pec dominant exercise. So if I take that scapular scooping and put my shoulder blades into my back pocket and then create torque as if I was going to bend the bar that way, I'm going to take the insides of my elbows and point them that way, right? So no torque, torque. No torque, torque, right? This guides my elbows in the proper direction. See, that's more of an A shape as opposed to a T shape. And I'm actually gonna push back a little bit. This also helps flare the lats out a little bit. The lats stabilize an incredible amount in the bench, or at least they should. Boom. Now, I actually took an incredible amount of technique on the bench press from powerlifting. Me personally, I use the bench press for strength more than size, although you can develop size by bench pressing, of course. But when I'm going for hypertrophy and a little bit more muscle isolation or pump, I prefer to use dumbbells as opposed to a barbell when it comes to training uh, the, the chest or the shoulders on their own. Now, again, that's not to say that you can't gain size from a barbell only. That's ridiculous to think. Uh, I just find that I, I get better pectoral recruitment with dumbbells. So what I'm gonna show you here is more of a powerlifting stance on barbell strength for the bench press. Uh, it's a little different. You will see some bodybuilders uh, bench pressing a little bit differently. Absolutely, obviously, it's fine. Those guys are huge and they know what they're doing. Uh, this is just my way of teaching the bench press. Uh, I get the whole, I get the hips, I get the legs, I get the feet, I get the lats, I get everything. The abs to stabilize during the movement. Um, it's my opinion that that's exactly what should be happening, right? We shouldn't be flopping around with the lower body at all when we're pressing under the bar. So if we go back to that initial fault, where the elbows just come up too high and there's a bit of a shrug, right? A lot of times there's no lower body or hip stability here. So you'll see it get heavy and people kind of flop around and struggle. Maybe the bar even tilts, uh, right? <laughs> just real ugly. You definitely do not want anything unstable or floppy going on anywhere in the body, regardless of whether or not it's an upper body or lower body barbell strength movement, okay? So the way that we fix this is before I unrack it, I'm actually going to kick one foot way back, kick the other way back. I'm going to flare my feet out, right? Now I'm going to push into the floor. It's actually going to move my body and keep me stable. So now I've got a floor drive. I've got my hips engaged. Now, a cue I give people is make T-Rex arms. So they'll scoop their shoulder blades under and kind of get these little baby T-Rex arms, right? Now my shoulder blades are flat. My traps are on the bench. I'll unrack it and then I'll create that torque I mentioned. And then I'm actually going to bring it down to the highest part of the sternum and push back a little bit. I've got leg drive, I've got my lats flaring, and I've got lots of intra-abdominal pressure. And that's one way to do it. Of course, as I mentioned, there's other ways to do this properly, but essentially nothing unstable should be happening anywhere in the body when you're under a barbell. Like I said, the back squat, there's several ways to squat. You could do a wide, low bar powerlifting stance. You could do high bar with a narrow stance, just depending on what you're looking for. 
But it's my opinion that the bench press is more of a strength exercise than a hypertrophy exercise. At least for me, that's how I approach it. I'm not saying, again, you can't get big using a barbell only because you certainly can. In fact, I have several barbell hypertrophy programs that I give to people. But I tend to use the bench press for an upper body strength movement more than a hypertrophy movement. Okay, I hope this helps. Give it a shot. Practice light. It's going to feel new, right? It's going to feel different a little bit. But as always, shoot me a DM. Let me know your thoughts on what you found. And uh, let me know what your new bench press record is because I'm sure you'll find one. Take it easy.